Are you sitting comfortably, children? Then we'll begin. In a far-off place called Stratford, there is a station. All sorts of trains use the station, but the smallest is a little engine called Robert. The big trains go to all sorts of places, but Robert doesn't go anywhere. Robert is a steam engine. He was built in 1933 by a company called Avonside. He worked at an iron mine in a place called Lamport Calcine Sidings at Hanging Houghton in Northamptonshire for the Staveley Coal and Iron Company. In those days he was called Lamport No. 3. He was very proud of being an Avonside engine. Avonside mostly built engines for industry and Lamport No. 3 was very typical. He had six small wheels to help him go around tight curves. He kept his water in a tank that rested on his boiler which was known as a saddle tank. He only had a small coal bunker because he didn't have to go very far and he had special couplings to help him pull ironstone wagons. Lamport No. 3 worked very hard but in 1969 he was getting on a bit. Everyone thought steam engines were old fashioned. Never mind, said his driver. They'll sell you to the nice men from the scrapyard and you can have a new life as a load of razor blades. Won't that be nice? Lamport No. 3 wasn't so sure. But instead, he was bought by some railway preservationists from Quainton Road. Then he went to the Foxfield Railway. Then he went to Peak Rail. Then he went to the Midland Railway, where they gave him a new name, Robert. In 1933 he got another new owner, a big company called the London Docklands Development Corporation. Robert had heard about the London Docklands. He heard that there were trains there that didn't have drivers, which sounded very exciting. Welcome to London, Robert, said the dock controller. We want you to represent the history of London's industrial railways. But I've never worked in London, said Robert. Surely I'm not a very good representative. But the dock controller was gone. They sent Robert to some nice people at Kewbridge Steam Museum who fixed him up and gave him a new coat of paint. They put him on a short length of track outside Beckton Gasworks, which used to have lots of engines of its own in the old days. Then in 1999, Robert was given to Newham Council because the London Docklands Development Corporation had been dissolved, like a ghost. The people from the council put him on another short length of track, this time in the magical suburb of Stratford. Here Robert has lots of friends who come to see him every day. Sometimes they write things on him. Sometimes they leave adverts for special services for grown-ups. Robert likes seeing all the people, one day a stout gentleman with a camera said he was going to make a film about Robert and... But I mustn't say any more or I shall be dangerously metafictional. Hello all, I hope you enjoyed the charming tale of Robert the Tank Engine. If you did, please do hit like and consider subscribing for more train tales and other tales of London. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheerio.